I got life with the possibility of parole. So after 18 years, they gave me my possibility to come home. I got incarcerated when I was 15, 35 right now. I spent more than half my life in there. Coming back out in society don't necessarily mean that you will get a job. Before working here, I didn't even know what e-waste stand for. Electronics are the fastest growing waste stream in the world. There are more rare earth metals in landfills because of discarded electronics than there are left in the known mineable deposits in the world. We're always getting the new phone, the bigger, better TV. In that process, we're making waste out of all these usable electronics. In the process of looking at the new, the now, the current, we we miss the wasted potential, whether it's piled up old CRTs or people who have been sent to areas where we don't pay attention anymore, you know? That's a big problem. People are coming out of the prison system and nobody's hiring them. There's a stigma around that. When I was a gang member, nobody had um, hope in me. Being discarded and being part of that group that was discarded is, is, is very painful. I'm a warehouse associate for Isidore Electronic Recycling. With Isidore, we're trying to promote a different model. We understand that everyone has a different background, everyone has a different skill set. Isidore Electronics Recycling is a full-service electronics recycler. We are a business that was created to create green jobs for people coming out of the prison system. I am an e-commerce specialist. I was incarcerated for six years. I was basically um, incarcerated for five armed robberies, charge of kidnapping for taking a hostage. I was sentenced as an adult. This was when I was like 14 years old. We hire through a program called Chrysalis Enterprises. Over the past several years, Chrysalis has really been looking to create stronger relationships with companies who are giving folks a second chance to re-enter the working world. It is challenging, but in the past year, we've helped over 2,100 men and women get back into the workforce. This is a valuable workforce that's untapped. When I got out, um, it was like really hard to find a job, mostly because um, I have felonies. It's probably really hard and it's really discouraging to come out with not a lot of opportunity because once you check a box on application, you're kind of out for most employers. We have policies around the way we incarcerate people, we have all these prisons, and then we're not really dealing with when people come out how to how to forgive them and let them back in. You really don't know what to do. By the time we come back out here, we're like so far behind and lost in time. Half the time, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Reentry is really challenging, and that's something that we work to support individuals on. We need to include people back into our society once they've done their time. If society can see me an ex-con, like how Isidor seems, you would see like ex-cons do have a chance to succeed. I, I am able to provide for my family and, and due to me having this job, my chances of committing a crime are less. It's, it's more great for my self-esteem. I feel great about myself. I mean, I feel normal. I'm gonna do right, I'm gonna live life. You know, I mean, I've been deprived of having life for so long that now that I have it, it's like there's so much to do.